So I want to talk about the nature of our existence. You know, what is actually going on here? Is this some kind of simulation? Are we inside of a dream? It's okay, Pepper. And this question's on my mind a lot because I, I recently did some psilocybin mushrooms and the experience that, that they give you is like they show you that our existence is some kind of fabrication of some kind, some kind of machine or computer generated reality. Like my my trips are usually I see like these uh, flying saucer kind of beings like big insects and they're like standing around these like advanced like control panels or machines and it's like my last trip that I just had it was like I saw that control panel and then out of the control panel came like this entire circus just this magical world just started pouring out of the bottom of this flying saucer kind of machine. And it's just, every time I have these encounters with these flying saucer beings with psilocybin, they, they're always it's associated with um, circus imagery. Circus imagery and like clowns and it's like they see all of our um, existence as a play that we're just playing roles it's all a drama or a tragedy or a comedy to them. and it's like the other thing I get from them is uh, that, that they kind of edit the story our existence is not like a Newtonian physical world it's more like it's made out of scripts. There's story, there's words, there's plot to it all. And it's like the flying saucer beings edit the story. That's why they showed up in the 50s, 60s, 70s at the height of all the abductions and UFO encounters is because Basically, behind the scenes, God or the creator, or whatever you want to call it, had to send in these editors, which are the flying saucer beings. And the flying saucer beings stopped us from using nuclear weapons, to destroying ourselves. Like, there's many stories of nuclear weapons sites and air force bases being haunted by UFOs and aliens and all of this kind of stuff. And having, you know, nuclear missiles be disabled midair and so forth. All of this is, you know, of course, was suppressed by the military leadership. Only later did it come out that these things had happened. But um, that's why I'm saying Tom Campbell is a physicist and he has this whole theory about that our existence is a virtual reality and I think that is definitely what's going on because every time you do this magic mushrooms and you go into this non-ordinary state of consciousness that's the character of it it's it's inhabited by these flying saucer beings it, and they're they run our existence like it's some kind of game to them like I literally see these um, I see these uh, entities like inside of like an 80s arcade room. It's dark in there. There's neon lights. There's clowns with with ne with these like neon old school video games had very like it's it's very hard to describe but the the clowns that these entities show you seem like they're on these old school arcade cabinets and that whole area is just dimly lit and it's just very spooky and it's like as if they're in this arcade room 
and our existence is literally a video game to them. And yeah, it's fascinating. I'm gonna make more videos discussing this kind of thing because I do have a lot of really weird experiences with mushrooms and these entities. Yeah. The other thing is, um, if it is some kind of game, the goal, just to, like Tom Campbell, the physicist that thinks we're in a virtual reality, thinks the goal of the game is to let go of fear and ego and evolve the consciousness and become more one, go into more and more novelty, more stable information this kind of stuff and basically the whole simulation harvests all of that um, information that's gathered I'm not sure if it's the information they want or it's probably they just harvest all of our conscious experiences and what we gain out of them and but I was gonna say also the flying saucer things they're intensely interested in us letting go of these fears and that's what I've experienced with uh, mushrooms several times is um, is they want to like kind of work on you with advanced telekinesis or something and they start they start trying to push out the fears in the in the viral thoughts that we have. I feel fear is probably the biggest virus in our existence. It creates the most chaos of anything. It's just, it's a crazy time we live in right now where there's all this, you know, racism going on, rioting in the streets, and it's just the fear virus has got us and the coronavirus at the same time. So thank you for watching, if, if anyone's seen this. Uh, it's probably, it's a little sloppy take on it. <laughs> Hopefully I get better at these, but I, I feel called to make YouTube videos and just kind of vlog my thoughts because there's a lot going on in my head and I hope I meet some other people out there that are interested in this.